What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts and today let's check out a South Park episode from season 6. This is Red Hot Catholic Love. Let's do it. Parents, it's that time of year again when the bishops and priests from around the country are organizing the Young Men's Catholic Retreat. This year, we're taking the boys on a weekend boat trip. Catholic boat trip? The Catholic boat is going to be heading on out today. Stupid. The Catholic boat. You <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Look, bro. I just don't think it's the best idea to let our boys go on a cruise with the priest. Now, come on, everybody. Just because a few priests of the country have been corrupt, it doesn't mean that all priests are child molest. Well, sure, that's easy for you to say. Your son's dead. But those of us with the live children need to be sure that Father Maxi is on the up and up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Doesn't mean that all priests are child molest. Well, sure, that's easy for you to say. Your son's dead. But those of us with the live children need to be sure that Father Maxi is on the up and up. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 Hi, boys. My name is Miss Garage, and I need to ask you a few questions about your priest, okay? Okay. Okay, what words would you use to describe your church's priest? Compassionate. Okay. okay. And did Father Maxi at any time ever try to put something in your butt? So, so direct. Like money? What? You mean like a goldfish? <laughs> no, no. Did he ever try to put anything that belonged to him in your butt? Yeah, what, what does Catholicism come to anyway? You know, I think we've just had it with the church. I think I'm gonna become an atheist. That's a good idea. I'm gonna be an atheist too. Let's all be atheists. Yeah, yeah all right. right. If there was a God, why would he let our kids be molested in the first place? Yeah, let's kill God, yeah! Oh man, how did South Park get away with putting these episodes out on TV? Oh, you know people are up in arms after they saw this episode. They had to be. Hey dudes, hey, ah, what are you guys doing? We had to go meet with this counselor lady and she asked us if the priests ever put anything in our butts. In your butts? Yeah, isn't that the damnedest thing? Why would he put anything in your butts? I love how the kids at South Park are sometimes a little bit more grown up than they seem, but then there are times where it seems like they're just kids who don't understand everything yet. Hello there, children. Chef. Chef. What would a priest want to stick up my butt? Goodbye. <laughs> If you eat food and crap out your butt, then maybe if you stuck food in your butt, you would crap out your mouth. Hmm? Carmen, that's the dumbest thing you've ever said this week. It wouldn't work. Have you ever tried it? I don't need to. It wouldn't work. I'll bet you 20 bucks it'll work. You're on, fat boy. Okay, it's good, you. Fathers, I want to thank you all for coming. No, thank you for finally organizing an all-priest meeting, Father Maxie. I think we all agree something has to be done quickly. I'm afraid if things keep going the way they are, we could lose our entire religion. Yes, we've got to stop these boys from going to the public. They've got to know to keep their mouths shut. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yep. right, and so... Wait a minute, what? Obviously, what we need to put a stop to is all the sexual misconduct that is allowed to take place in our churches. I mean, right? Well, did any of the children you've molested come forward? No! Well, that's good. <laughs> no, I mean, I never molested any of the children in my church. We are here to bring the light of God, not harm the innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious! Oh, no. I have to go to the Vatican and get help. I'm doing it, I-80! God, give me a minute! You've had five, dude. I can't, I can't do it with you guys watching. Turn around. No, because you'll just crap out your button and say it came out your mouth. <laughs> <sighs> Get the fuck out of here. I crapped out my mouth! You owe me 20 bucks, dickface! Is that how that works? Your Holiness, this is Father Maxi from America. He has brought this all to our attention. Your Holiness. If things continue this way, we'll never be able to have sex with young boys again! That's right. Wait, what? <laughs> in France as well, we are finding it harder and harder to make love to our boys. In Morocco, they have arrested five of my priests. It's only a matter of time before they get the rest of us. Well, maybe we need to change the holy document of Vatican law. 
Speaking on behalf of the uh. British Catholics, it is obvious that the priest doesn't realize that the holy document of Vatican law cannot be changed. Oh. Yes, and speaking on behalf of the Gilgamesh Catholics, I believe we should move on to other solutions to this problem. Kath, could you help me out? I need some advice. What? It's just that I can't decide what to buy with your $20. I was thinking of getting this Mega Man Racer for 1995, or I could get two Broncos training packs for 10 apiece, and then I thought... Good. So, kids, anything fun happen with your whole Sunday off? Uh, Carmen shoved his lunch up his ass and crapped out his mouth. Stanley! No, it doesn't work that way, son. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Randy. Oh, uh. <gasps> honey! Honey, come quick! The smell that must be in there after that. Probably shouldn't be talking in your wife's face. What exactly do you suggest we change, Father Maxi? Well, for one, no sex with boys. <laughs> the holy document of Vatican law states that a priest, bishop, or cardinal cannot get married. So where are we to get our sex? Well, then perhaps we could change the holy document of Vatican law to say that it's okay for a priest or bishop or cardinal to have sex with women. <laughs> Why are you mad? The Gilgamesh vagina is three feet wide and filled with razor sharp teeth. Do you really expect us to have sex with them? Okay, maybe we just need to forget about the Gilgamesh for a second and focus. Forget about the Gilgamesh? But the holy document of Vatican law cannot be changed. Why not? Because we don't know where it is. Okay. You see, Father, the holy document of Vatican law has been hidden away deep in the catacombs of the St. Peter's below us. But if we locate it, we could make changes to it? Ha! Good luck, Father. The document is guarded by water lizards, rattlesnakes, and sand traps. I went down to the bank, and I got Kyle's $20 bill turned into 20 single-dollar bills. So? So? So now I can do this! Yay! Yes, Kyle's money! Mmm, Kyle's money. Go fuck yourself, Cartman! <laughs> Our top story tonight, the age-old question has been answered. If I put food up my ass, will I crap out my mouth? All over the country, people are discovering that yes, in fact, you will. The Surgeon General had this to say. And the, uh, the immediate research shows that the act is not only amusing, but in fact much healthier for our bodies than the old way of eating. Sorry, I know this is a weird random fact, but it just shows how much South Park pays attention to those little things. I know that's supposed to be the Surgeon General David Satcher. And the reason I know that... It's because he went to the same college that I did. He went to Morehouse College. You see, food entering through the anus has the benefit of being broken down on its way to the stomach rather than afterward. And therefore, I believe that enterorectogestion would actually put a stop to high cholesterol and most kinds of stomach cancers. And I base that on absolutely nothing. So you got people to crap out of their mouths. What do you want, a freaking medal? The mayor of South Park has announced that for first discovering this healthy way of eating, young citizen Eric Cartman will be given a freaking medal. <laughs> Back now with more on Martha Stewart Living. In the past few days, we've all heard of the benefits of intro rectogestion, and so making foods that can easily be inserted into the ass is essential. Now, everyone knows that some foods are simple to shove up the ass, puddings, soups, raisins. What we're going to do today is prepare a Thanksgiving turkey for intro recto. The key to shoving a turkey up your ass is first wrapping it in string, keeping the pointy wings neatly at the side. Now, we're going to baste the turkey with lubricating gel rather than with juice. This will help smooth the insertion later on. So now we're ready to go. That Looks delicious. Smile. Let's try it out. No! No! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Yeah, get it up there. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Yeah! Ah! Oh. Whew. And that is how you eat a turkey. We'll be right back with more. Man, what the fuck? I'm trying to find the holy document of Vatican law so that we can make revisions to it. Use all the strength, agility, and faith that you have. Very well. Here we go. Pitfall. This is effing classic. Ah, I made it! <laughs> Praise be to God, he hath shown me the way! This must be it. The holy document of Vatican law. Atheism has definitely made our lives better. You know, for Martha and I, we're, we're worried we might have a hard time raising our son atheist. I mean, it could end up being very difficult raising an atheist child in such a Christian society. I feel like everywhere my poor son goes, he's being persecuted for his beliefs. Under God should be taken out of the... Excuse me. 
<sighs> yes, I have returned with the holy document of Vatican law. So can we please change it now to say it's not okay to have sex with boys? The Pope says we shall ask the highest source. Oh my. The Holy One. Behold, the great Queen Spider. Hail Queen Spider. The Vatican rules cannot be changed, so saith the spider. Go on, Priest Maxi. See if you can convince her. All right, that does it. I've had enough. You people have completely lost touch with the outside world. The hell with the holy document of Vatican law. Oh, oh. Carmen, there's something I need to tell you. Who was that guy? You were totally 100% right. <laughs> what? You won the bet. You were totally accurate about being able to crap out your mouth, and I've just been frustrated because I didn't think of it first. I want you to enjoy that money because you really impressed me with your insight, and, and I'm proud to have you as a friend. You son of a bitch, cop! I hate you! <laughs> you see, these are just stories. Stories that are meant to help guide people in the right direction. Love your neighbor. Be a good person. That's it. People are losing faith because they don't see how what you've turned the religion into applies to them. They've lost touch with any idea of any kind of religion, and when they have no mythology to try and live their lives by, well, they just start spewing a bunch of crap out of their mouths. Interesting. I'm a Catholic in the real world, in today's world. It's time for you all to do that too. It is time for change. We don't have to believe every word of the Bible. They're just stories to help us live by. We shouldn't toss away the lessons of the Bible just because some assholes in Italy screwed it up. Oh, Randy, I don't want to put food up my butt anymore. I think maybe we owe God an apology. Does this mean we have to go to church on Sundays again? No. It means we get to, son. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this episode made it on television, but it was interesting. Um, everything from the pitfall cutscene to Martha Stewart sitting on a turkey to people crapping out of their mouths to just talking about the Catholic Church in general. It's one of those episodes that makes you think a little bit. And real quick, if you want to watch a documentary about Catholic related things, it's not funny by any means. It's actually kind of creepy, but man, was it powerful. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend the netflix documentary the keepers if you haven't seen it but if you get creeped out really easily maybe not all right but if you enjoyed this reaction please make sure to give this video a like comment share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace